We have a breaking development in the high-profile lawsuit against Fox News. We'll have to wait until tomorrow for the start of the biggest media trial in decades. Last night, a judge decided to delay the $1.6 billion defamation trial against Fox News. Multiple media outlets are reporting that Fox is looking to settle the case out of court. News Nation is working to independently confirm this. Dominion Voting Systems is suing Fox over the network's coverage of the 2020 presidential election and falsely claiming their software rigged the results against former President Trump. News Nation senior correspondent Brian Enton breaks down what you need to know about this blockbuster trial. A historic trial that could change the media landscape as we know it. In Delaware State Court, Dominion is suing Fox for $1.6 billion in damages. How much is that for a big company like Fox? It is a lot. The total damages Dominion is asking for is about a full year of income for the media behemoth. A Dominion win isn't enough to break the company, but it's enough to shake it. Dominion says Fox News defamed them when host pushed false claims that tie Dominion voting machines to voter fraud. And they're singling out at least 20 examples of alleged defamation. Fox News says they are protected by the First Amendment and we're just reporting newsworthy events pushed by a sitting president. Fox's most popular hosts will likely have to testify, including Tucker Carlson, since fired Lou Dobbs, Sean Hannity, Brett Baer, Laura Ingram, and Maria Bartiromo. Fox News CEO Suzanne Scott and Fox Chairman Rupert Murdoch could also be forced to take the stand. The trial is expected to take five weeks, and both sides have teams of legal powerhouses defending them. The judge says the evidence in the case demonstrates that it is crystal clear that none of the statements relating to Dominion about the 2020 election are true. He said Fox's behavior constituted defamation, but now it'll be up to a jury to decide whether there was actual malice, and if so, just how much Fox should have to pay. We'll definitely keep an eye on that. That was senior News Nation correspondent Brian Enton reporting. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.